Hello and welcome to Computer Tech More. Today we're continuing my saga of trying to diagnose my monitor and why when certain games uh, open that uh, I get a what appears to be a screen disconnect and then reconnect as well as uh, maybe once a week when it happens where the monitor will just decide that the computer is not attached to it. When it happens it's extraordinary annoying because unplugging and plugging in the display port on either end doesn't solve the problem. I have to hard reset, turn off the computer, which means whatever I was doing just is closed, which is pretty annoying. Um, but again, it doesn't happen that often. So again, I don't know if it's monitor end. I don't know if it's the cable. In my previous video, I tested out a thicker display port uh, 1.4 cable as well as a non-certified 2.0 cable so i don't know the quality of the two point of the 2.0 cable if uh kind of whatever was going on with that but either way the display port cable didn't seem to solve a problem and um i don't see any scan lines in my screen so either i got very lucky or i just can't perceive them so i don't really want to risk an rma if i don't have to so we're going to try HDMI and see if that solves it. I selected a Cable Matters. It was uh, HDMI 2.1 certified. And uh, I needed a 10-foot length. And it was certified at the 10-foot length. So we're going to plug it in and see if it solves the problem. It will be a pretty short video because I just need to test it out. My excitement, I almost forgot to, you know, open up the cable and, uh, you know, tell you about my impressions of how it feels. It's got this uh, nice braiding on the outside and the connectors mm, are pretty standard looking, honestly. Uh, no complaints, no real pluses or minuses. It's a very standard looking cable. Um, white currently matches my computer's motif. This, my monitor is white, the, the case is white, so we're going with white. But, uh, yeah, there's the cable. It's good thickness. Just, it's an HDMI cable. All right, now on to testing it out. All right, I have the HDMI ho cable hooked up. Let's see if we can uh, get the uh, error to show up. Okay, get my screen back in focus. Let's see. All right, we're, we're checking for this corner to see if it uh, kind of fades and comes back. In uh, my previous video, I'm gonna have it linked below. Uh, that's the error that I was seeing. So that's the error that we're going to be looking for. Hopefully, this solves the problem. This was uh, by a user suggestion to uh, go ahead and try this, or uh, video watcher suggestion. It's taking a little while to load. Um, we still got that in the corner. All right, we're going to try uh, another game and see if uh, the same thing is happening. All right, we're checking uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Originally, this new uh, Skywalker Saga, or Lego Skywalker Saga, but it uh, had a huge update, 24 gigs, so that's going to take a while. So we're going to check this one because it's also a game that I had a similar problem with. So let's check it out. All right, let's look for the uh, look for the problem. I know this is not the most exciting thing in the world, but we're trying to problem solve it and see if we can figure out what's going on. To, uh, again, we're figuring out if it's the screen, the cable. Well, or, or it could be the GPU, but uh, I kind of, I don't know if I can doubt that. I didn't have any problems when I was running at 2K. I don't remember experiencing any of this. So my personal thought, it's probably the screen. But again, I don't really want to 
go there unless I have to. So uh, one advantage with uh, going with HDMI is that it has a higher uh, bandwidth than the Display Point 1.4. 1. 1. So I may not be using uh, display screen compression or do, 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 probably not. Which means in theory, the, the screen looks better now. Although, um, to my eyes, it looks exactly the same. So, um, take that for what you will. Well, there we are. I didn't notice the little pop-up in the corner. So it might very well be that um, it partially solved the problem. All right, this is exiting the game. Yep, I want to quit. So that's a good sign. All right, off camera waiting. Oh, well, there's that little thing come up for Star Wars Skywalker Saga. So I don't know if it's completely solved my problem, but I think I'm going to keep the um, HDMI cable plugged in. And I may want to do a um, firmware update, assuming that there is one, for the screen and see if that'll solve anything. I don't know. We're testing everything out. But this is where we are for right now. All right, and I just found a problem with my HDMI cable. So check this out. It says it's 60 hertz. Whoops. And go to the control panel here, click up, refresh rate, 240. Uh, so then I go and select it to 120. The screen resets itself a little bit, and boom, native. That's at 60. That's 120. So we're gonna, sorry, go back, switch over the refresh rate again. I'm gonna scroll down again. Sorry, I'm holding the camera barehanded, so you have to excuse the micro shakes. Okay, select that. 120, 120 maximum again. Okay, so let's, uh, we're going to have to ignore this for the time being. I got to oh, just go ahead and switch it. I set it to maximum, highest, whatever, dynamic range, full. All right. And here we go. Apply. Disconnect, reconnect. And we lost HDMI. Oh, maybe, maybe not. Okay, it looks like I lost it. So. No, we're gonna have to reset things. Hang on. One hard reset later, we're back in the computer and it is at 120 there. That is native and we got the color depth and stuff right. Let's, video color settings. Sorry about the micro shakes again. I don't want limited, go back to full, I'm gonna apply that. Image settings, that's fine, I guess. Where, HDCP, that's fine, audio. Audio, I don't really want to run through there, I'll fix that later. Um, resolution, this just says 120. Ah. So it, the screen is still telling me that it's refreshing at, I'm sorry, not the micro shakes, uh, 240. And nothing in there is telling me that, uh, that it shouldn't be working the way it's supposed to work. So... I am beginning to feel like the um, 
HDMI. Uh, the it's still running at 2.0 and not um, 3.0, so it's still got the maximum there. <coughs> All right, let's check. Uh, adaptive, oh, adaptive sync is missing. Well, that's not good. It was there when I had the screen refreshing at 120. We're switching it back. All right. Yeah, there's G-Sync again now. So, something's going on with HDMI. I think I'm going to not use it until a firmware update is apparently released because it is not working the way it should be working. So I'm gonna be living with whatever problem that I'm experiencing. So again, we're, we're finding out a whole lot of things new together. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching, and uh, I guess this is where I'm gonna end it because I've already checked for the latest firmwares and there isn't anything new. So uh, just, uh, where was it? In there, support, it's possible this way. Uh, information, this is the latest software version that I can find. If you find a newer one, please leave a comment below. And uh, this is where we're going to leave it, and I'm going back to DisplayPort. Uh, thank you for watching, and have a great day!